Good morning from South Korea. We are in Hongdae and there are a lot of food places around here, um, including this place called the Jihal Bros. And I think it's a direct ripoff of Halal Guys. Come on, Korea. Come on. So one thing we get from being here in Hongdae, we're near the Hongdae University. So this is a very uh, young and college student filled town. There's a lot of food. Like everywhere we go, there's restaurants, snack shops, 7-Eleven. One of their convenience stores here is called CVS for You or CU. Uh, they have a lot of cool foods in there too. And here we have a GS25, apparently based on a recent Fung Bo's video. Uh, you cannot film inside one of these, but it is another popular um, convenience store here in Seoul. Did I tell you I applied to work for Fung Bros last year? Oh yeah, you did. The application process was insane. They required me to watch 400 different YouTube videos and write reviews or something on like every five or something like that. This is while still being a student. <laughs> and if I had gotten the job, I would have moved to Seattle. Yeah. Crazy. And of course, Sean has to get his daily coffee here at Taylor Coffee. Here is one of the many CUs in Seoul. Sean and I are at I Am A Burger here in uh, Hongdae. Looks pretty good so far. We got the mushroom burger. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. The meat was very well seasoned. It works really well with the bun. And you kind of just have your normal um, other burger components, so it's very good. We're here at Zia's hair salon, ready to spend some big money to cut my hair, which will probably grow back in about two weeks. Uh, our friend Noel recommended this place. Apparently it's really good. One of the guys here is very, very uh, talented at cutting hair. So let's see if we can get some good hairstyle going on. It's kind of sketch. <laughs> that was, that was, should not leave your hand in. I got ripped. Oh, here we are. Whoa, very fancy. So they asked us to put our uh, stuff in a locker. So I can't, I don't have my camera right now. And they dressed us in these robes. It does feel very fancy in here. Stay in the US. Less I than you pay. I pay thirty-five dollars in the U.S. It's probably more than Reed Jordan pays. Yeah, I pay about twelve. <laughs> so I just got shampooed and massaged in the head, and it felt really good. I don't know what I want to get for a haircut though. I think I might get my normal comb over thing, that stuff. But yeah, uh, <laughs> this place is really fancy. Not bad. Not bad at all. There. Oh yeah, there's Sean right there. <laughs> Looking good, yeah, not bad. Well, the overall experience is pretty nice. The head massage and uh, all the shampooing and the haircut itself. Um, yeah, very cool, very cool, very detailed. It was very fast, yeah. Uh, all for about 25 US dollars. I mean, that was with the, uh, yeah. It was a pretty decent head massage, so all that for around 25. Uh, it's a little bit more than what I usually pay for, but then again, I don't usually get a head massage, but it's a little cheaper than what Sean gets for his haircut. So, yeah, really cool experience. Would we'll definitely do it again. Come to ZS Hair Salon. Of course, we had to stop by Gong Cha in Korea. Oh, it's really sweet. Well, maybe it's just I got the caramel milk too. But, yeah, it tastes about the same. All right, back at the apartment, uh, we stopped by a GS25 convenience store to pick up some food. 
wanted to save a little bit of money. So all of this right here that I got was about four US dollars. That's pretty good. But I got some instant taboki, or however you say it. It's pretty good. Got some of these spicy ramen that you can get at home in the US, but they come in little bowls here. And this one has cheese in it, cheese. Sean said there's a lot of uh, uh, cheese in Korean cuisine, right? So, made that. I'm not looking forward to it because it might be insanely spicy. And this drink right here, it looks like it's a melon drink. I saw it in a Fung Bros video. Apparently it's really good. So hopefully, you know, it'll be all right if I drink this and I'm, my mouth is on fire. I have some water here just in case as well. Okay, spicy ramen challenge in Korea. Let's do this. Ooh, that's hot. But you can taste the cheese. That's interesting. Think of a slight mac and cheese flavor mixed with the spicy ramen. <laughs> mixed with the spicy ramen and it actually is a really really tasty flavor it's just insanely hot it's good though actually <coughs> it's not as spicy as the 2x one <coughs> but it's pretty darn spicy <coughs> i'm gonna try this taboki again this was only 2000 won and it's like a decent size a decent portion that's like a little bit less than two dollars mm, that's a good flavor and it's not spicy at least i, I can't tell if it is because uh, spicy ramen kind of drowns out all the flavor. It was definitely a very tasty sauce. Very good deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. <coughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try this. Oh. Let's see. I can't tell because this drowned it out. You wanna try some of this too? Hey, it's building up. It's all in Hangul. I can't read Korean. This one, okay, then this is definitely gonna be spicier. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this melon drink here. You alright? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's like a, if you had a honeydew milk tea in a small form, that's what this tastes like. Not bad. Alright, I'm gonna finish the rest of this. Woo! So what's really cool is that a lot of this stuff you can get in pretty much any of the convenience stores, and it's very cheap. Actually, it might be cheaper than um, some of the stuff that we found in the Japanese 7-Elevens or the convenience stores. With these, you get a pretty decent amount of food. They're not just little small onigiris, although you can stock up pretty easily on those. And it's also really convenient because these convenience stores are right outside of our apartment that we're staying in, Hongdae. So if we ever need a snack, we can just go down, get some more. Woo! I'm starting to sweat. Oh, Ooh, that one was a, a really spicy bite. Oh. Okay, I got it. Come on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. My mouth is on fire, you guys. All right, just a little bit left. Got to finish it. Can't waste money. All right, done. Done. Uh, uh, very tasty, but still very hot. It's the end of this vlog. Uh, stay tuned for more. <coughs> stay tuned for more videos from, from uh, my trip to Korea. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next video. Oh my gosh.